today we had a press conference that involved police chiefs, law enforcement, community leaders from around the valley. Uh, people who are in charge of the largest police departments in this valley. And the question and the topic that we were discussing was the immigration policy. As you well know, there has been a lot in the media lately about getting local law enforcement and especially the Phoenix Police Department to change their policies and to get involved in routine immigration enforcement. If I, as I have said in the past, and as I continue to say, and it was, as was stated today by all of the Valley uh, Police Chiefs, this is not a job for local law enforcement. We all agree that immigration is a huge issue. We all agree that it is a problem. What we disagree with is people in our own organization and other folks in this community telling us that because the federal government isn't doing what they need to do to close down the borders, that we need to lay this entire problem at the feet of local law enforcement. And we simply don't have the resources. Uh, I looked at some numbers just before I walked over here today, and you folks are responding to over 700,000 calls dispatched a year just in Phoenix just for Phoenix police officers to respond to. Another 100,000 calls are diverted to the callback officers a year. You can imagine that if I said tomorrow we're going to start doing routine immigration enforcement, the burden that would be placed on your shoulders, 700,000 calls, I could easily see that doubling immediately if we said we were going to do routine immigration enforcement. I understand it's a big issue, but my position reflects the position of the city manager, the mayor, the council, the representatives of our community, that that is not a uh, worthwhile uh, position for us to take in doing routine immigration enforcement with our very limited resources. Those limited resources are you. You're the ones that these folks want to divert for their political reasons to doing routine immigration enforcement. I'm sorry, I am not going to allow that to happen. Uh, I am the police chief. I report to the city manager, the mayor, and the council, and I am following the direction that I have been given. Uh, we all follow our policies here in the Phoenix Police Department. I assure you that we work with ICE. You book more people into jail that are held for immigration than any other agency in this state. Uh, we are doing our part. We're willing to do our part on the immigration issue, but we can't take all of our resources and just enforce immigration laws any more than we could take all of our resources and do nothing but traffic or do nothing but burglaries. We are a multi-service agency that has a huge responsibility to this community. And we are going to live up to that responsibility and we will continue to make the best decisions we can about immigration. Uh, I thank you for the tremendous work that you are doing to be able to respond as effectively as you do to that number of calls for service is unbelievable in a community of over a million and a half people. Uh, estimates are given that there's over 500,000 illegal immigrants in the state of Arizona, and a large proportion of those are more than likely in the city of Phoenix. You can imagine what your job would be like if we started arresting every person that we came in contact with or spending an hour, uh, which is more than likely illegal, to hold somebody that's not in violation of a criminal statute for ICE for immigration. And the last thing I will mention is, in talking with ICE, the director of ICE for the state of Arizona, they do not have the resources that would be needed if we all started doing routine immigration enforcement calling them, you'd just be put on hold and they wouldn't be able to respond anyway. So we will continue 
to do the great job that we have been doing in trying to lower the crime rate and to protect this community. We will continue to do uh, the enforcement of criminal statutes and putting bad guys in jail. You're doing a great job. I appreciate what you're doing, but please so take a step back and think about what the ramifications are when people tell you we need to go out there and start calling ICE and getting involved in routine immigration enforcement. Thank you.